Hey there, baseball fans, and welcome into the Catch at Las Vegas Ballpark. As always, I'm your host, Matt Neverett. Joining you today from our home batting cage, just behind the Aviators' first base home side dugout and adjacent to the home clubhouse. This is the perfect spot for guys to get warmed up before the game. You'll hear guys in here at about noon for a 7 p.m. first pitch, getting their warm-ups in. Also a very important spot for both designated hitters and pinch hitters. They can come in here during the game, get their warm-up hacks in, and maybe make adjustments from at-bat to at-bat. So this is a very very happening spot. There's a lot of action here throughout the day, and it's a really pivotal part of the action here in the underbelly of Las Vegas Ballpark. Today on the catch, we're going to be taking a look at the Aviators' six-game split against the Salt Lake Bees from the 10th through the 15th, including a lot of promotions and a ton of fans. Thank you so much for coming out with two more sellouts throughout the series. After dropping the first two games of the six-game series against Salt Lake, Aviators catcher Shea Langoliers was awarded his 2021 AA and World Series championship rings from the Atlanta Braves, and he capped his early game celebration with a first inning hit, the first of an eventual 10 in the game for Las Vegas. Nate Mondu also started off hot with the first of three hits total coming in the second inning, setting up a Dalton Kelly grand slam to give the Aviators an early 4-0 lead. The blast was the third of the year for Kelly after he clubbed 27 in 2021 with AAA Durham in the Rays organization. After Salt Lake tied the game at four in the fifth on Dylan Thomas's second home run of the night, a two-run shot, Nate Mondu knocked his second double of the game and sixth of the year in the sixth inning to score Dermis Garcia, and he was followed by Christian Lopes, who singled to score the runner from second to break an 0 for 30 stretch at the plate. The Bees played at single runs in innings number seven and nine before Aaron Brown converted his first save of the year with his strikeout and the game's final two outs recorded on the hill in win number 18 on the year for the Aviators. On Friday night, fan favorite Sky Bolt returned to the Aviators roster on a Major League Rehab assignment from the parent Oakland Athletics. Bolt marked his return with a pair of hits and a pair of walks and scored the game's first run in the first inning. Shane Langoliers drove in a run in a ground out in the fifth, and Las Vegas led by three heading into the sixth and added a pair of runs from there in the home half of the eighth inning. In that frame, Christian Lopes continued his hot-hitting series, scoring Austin Allen from second after Allen singled, and Nick Allen knocked his third double at the AAA level to play Dalton Kelly and capped the Aviators scoring in the game in a 5-2 victory. The real story of the victory was the eight-inning starting performance for left-hander Jared Koenig on the mound, who finished with a career-high 10 strikeouts and limited the Salt Lake Bees to a single run on just three hits in the longest start by a Las Vegas pitcher under Oakland Athletics affiliation. And of course, the contest with the highest attendance of the year thus far was capped off with our second fireworks extravaganza of the year, sending the capacity crowd of over 10,000 home happy. And in the final game of the series, Sky Bolt started the scoring with a bang, clubbing a two-run home run in the third inning that sparked a six-run frame off of Salt Lake starter Davis Daniel. Nick Allen clipped his second double in as many games in the inning and was driven around by Vimael Machin before Dermis Garcia continued his hot-hitting waves at the plate on his third home run of the year to straightaway center field. Outfielder Billy McKinney also recorded his first two hits since being added to the Aviators roster with a two-run single in the seventh and an RBI two-bagger in the eighth to propel Las Vegas to a 12-7 win in the final game of the homestand and the series. The Aviators split their second six-game series right down the middle with Salt Lake and continue their streak to start the year of either winning or splitting every series three games apiece of the 2022 season. Thus far, they have not lost a series to this point. That'll do it for this episode of the Catch at Las Vegas Ballpark. After a two-week road trip, the Aviators return home on May 31st to take on the Tacoma Rainiers in a six-game set before the first three-game series of the year here at Las Vegas Ballpark when the Round Rock Express make their first trip westward to Las Vegas in the 2022 season. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see and hear next in the Catch at Las Vegas Ballpark. I'm Matt Neverett saying thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you here on May 31st when the Aviators take on the Rainiers. Until then, Thanks for having a catch with us.